Oh, what is up guys, and welcome back to another video, and as you can tell from this one, it's much different than my regular videos. Um, this one is going to be about how to level in Celtic Heroes. Now this all depends on whether you are going to be using um, XP elixirs or not. I know people who haven't, and also I know people who haven't spent money on this game at all and still have... There's people who are like level 220 that haven't spent any money on this game whatsoever. Um, I unfortunately, obviously, am not one of those people. I wish I was. That would be, I would feel very accomplished if that was me. But it's not. And so I'm gonna be going through real quickly where you should go, what you should do, um, the items you should probably get um, for these sort of going from level 1 to level like 220, 215, wherever you want to end up. Um, the goal is to get to end game. So I am almost level 216, but um, once you're level 215, the motive to level goes very, very down, like down a lot. There's no, there's no point really to level besides doing more damage to bosses end game. And so let's start it off, starting with the starting quests you can get from 1 to 17 fairly quickly. That is like a pretty fast way to level up and get those levels. And so the next place I want to show you is the catacombs. So if you go in here and you can clear these guys. These guys are really easy to kill. You can kill these guys, like, like just check it out. You don't have to do any damage to them. And they just die, you know? But, um, so, these guys are for level about 17 to 20-ish. And then, once you're about 20, uh, they start not being on your par or level. You can start killing these guys. These guys are spawn really fast. Most likely you're not going to be able to clear this room. Um, maybe not if you have a, if you don't have any lux or anything. But at this level, if you get the new lux, you can't have lux until level 35, which is bullshit. I don't really understand it. Um, they kept if they were gonna if they were gonna take out the old stuff, then they should have just made the old stuff have the same level requirement because it just makes no fucking sense. But um, they did make stuff a little bit cheaper, I guess. But nobody really buys it in shop. So what I what I um, think is good for these low levels is like the best ancient I item. Maybe not for mages or druids, but um, that. Um, I always use a shitty, like, re this was 12k. I use this always on my, like, melee characters to get them to level 50. Um, so that's what I use, because that has a zero level requirement, and obviously the, the main hand weapon doesn't either, but it does have a strength requirement. So the next place I'm going to suggest is either, if you're good enough, you can go to Shalmont Ravine, or you can kill more of these guys. These guys go all the way up to level, like, 30, I believe. Um, I think 27 might be... Okay, here's some 30 ones. Yeah, you can kill these guys to about level 30. And once you're, like, level uh, 28-ish, 30, you can go to Shalmont and... Uh, I went to the wrong place. But these guys over here are, like, level 50s. But if you go over here... Everyone knows this place. These guys are level like 31, 32, and they're really easy to kill. These guys have like no health. They, I think they have 100 health. Like I'm pretty sure they have 100 health. And on the other side of the bridge, these guys are a little bit higher level. I think they go up to 40, if I'm correct. Uh, 34. They go up to like 34, and then these guys up here are like level 37, and they go up to, yeah, these guys are like 36, 37, yeah. So once you get past there, if you're going to, if you're going to level 40, once you're level like 37-ish, you can come over and start killing these guys. Um, I wouldn't suggest trying to kill any of the like 3 stars, because most likely you're not going to be able to kill them. Definitely not this captain guy. Uh, he'll fuck you up, but like, 
these one stars are really easy to kill and um, I don't know if a lot of people know this or not, but killing one stars and two stars is always the best because you get, especially if, I mean, mainly if you're alone. If you're with two or three people, then go for four stars, but if you're alone or maybe even just with one other person, killing one and two stars is the fastest way to get XP. Um, you, like, even going to the extent of ignoring four stars. I wouldn't ignore a three star, I would kill a three star, but... 1 and 2 stars give you, like, fair XP extremely fast. They have, like, no health, and they do, like, no damage. Alright, so, for the next area, I'm going to say, go to, mm, I want to say either, um, Northern Woods or, or, um, the Shalmont River. Either one. I think you'll be fine with. Uh, yeah, these guys are like level 50, 55. You can just clear these boars. Um, these bears are pretty easy to kill. I kill this guy. Oh, rip. And there's this boss that spawns here. It can drop, uh, it can drop, like, tablets and stuff. But yeah, the shittier ones don't drop and get the lower level ones. Um, so for the next area, um, I would say go to about 55 from here. If you go back to Shalmont Ravine and the river, <coughs> you can get, I think, yeah, this place is a pretty good alternative depending on where, what you want to kill, what you would like rather kill. Um, I would probably, I always live here, I never go to, uh, to the boars, but, um, some people would prefer the boars over these guys. I think this is a better spot because there's a lot more guys here. Uh, they don't go as high, they go basically the same level, but not really. And for the next area, I'm going to recommend the southern, uh, dales in Stonedale. Yeah, right here. This is where I level most of my care. I this is where I always go. This place is really fucking annoying. Okay, I don't know any other place. These, ugh, where are they, dude? Oh, now there's none of them. The, not even the Feyboids. The Feyboids are easier to kill. The ones with these guys, the loot fiends. They are like mages and shit. And the other ones that are mages, I don't even remember what they're ca oh, called. Oh, okay, here they are. The lower dancers. These guys are fucking annoying, dude. I just, like, just avoid them if you come here. They, like, they put on a shield, and then they just do, like, an obnoxious amount of damage. It's so annoying. So, for the next area, I'm gonna say, um, till you're, like, level 70, probably go to Stoneville Farm, and do the, <clears throat> do the bears and the unicorns and shit up here and the imps they're really like this isn't a good spot to level i like this spot so there's like level 67 here if you go over here there's like a huge pit of like level 60 like eight mobs i'm pretty sure they're like 68 yeah 65 yeah this is a pretty good spot here uh they're pretty easy to kill it's better to have cold damage items if you're going there though because they all take reduced heat damage I'm pretty sure so that's pretty good for that and then once you're about like 72 73 from this place from uh, out here with the unicorns and the bears and stuff and the imps then you can um, you can go to this is always my favorite spot I love licking at uh, the docks or whatever this is such like an easy spot to level because they're just right here and these guys have like no health they're just so easy to kill and like if you have one other person this is a breeze uh, then there's once you're past level like 75 there's a pit um, I'm gonna go to it just to show you guys that is much better to Alright guys, so here we are at the cave, 
This is the spot I always licks at. This gets you, um, I would licks here till, you could licks here till 80 pretty easily. Um, these guys in the back give you real, these guys give you really good XP. And they can drop double attack manuals, um, and other manuals, but, <clears throat> I would, yeah, that's the spot I recommend for a level 80. And then once you're level 80, you can come over here. Alright, so we're here. So once you're level 80, you can come here. These guys are like all 3 and 4 stars, which is awesome. Um, I would definitely 100% recommend having a partner for this area if you are playing the licks here. It is it is soloable. Um, I leveled Dank alone, basically, from, from 1 to like... I would go to say like 120, and then from 120, I licked with a partner to like 160, and then I went from 160 to like 200 alone, and then I went from 200 to 215 with people. Because at that level, at 200, it's really sort of difficult, unless you're using like a shitload of pots or anything. I would just not do that. So after the, this, this pirate island, you can go to the pirates up there. I'm just gonna... Be Alright, so now that we're here, and I forgot to mention earlier, um, the Lux items you would want for this area, I would recommend... <clears throat> don't go all out. If you are planning to get high level, there's no point in, like, buying golden items. I would go to even say just get silver, maybe even bronze, depending if you have like a good weapon and stuff. But um, there's no just no point to getting golden, especially once the 50 to 100 gap goes so fast. I'm sorry, there's someone mowing outside my lawn. I'll be right back. Once I'm back. So the gap between 50 and 100 goes really fast, really fast to the point that it's sort of stupid to like ball out a level 50 unless you really can then it just makes it so much easier if you can but the way i normally do it is i just sort of struggle my way from 50 to 100 normally when i make alts and then at 100 i just ball them out because at 100 you can get real lux i'm i mean obviously the level 50 shit's real but it's like pretty like shitty and then at level 150 you get way better stuff it's just it is just beyond like the difference is incredible so here is where you're going to want to level from to up to 90 and once you're at 90 i normally go to the caramore tunnels and then you can go here and there's spiders that are like right outside this cave that are like suitable for level up to like level 93 I think. Uh, here's some level 90 ones. You can... You can lick on these ones. Um, 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 there's level 100 ones here. I did these. I saw my profile picture as that that dude with the, he's got those those funny ass glasses on and he's he has a PSP and he's taking a picture in the mirror with it. <laughs> eh, that's funny. And um, so these guys are pretty not they're not very good to level on, but these guys right outside the cave are good. And then once you start to go into the cave. Um, I would suggest the scorpions. They're really- Some of them are really easy to kill, but a lot of them do a ton of damage. Okay, so these ones, like, literally so easy to kill. Like, they have, like, a thousand- like, a thousand health. Less than a thousand health. I would go say they have, like, 900 health. My mage is level 100, and he can, like, easily one-hit these guys. Um, so these ones are a little bit harder. The three star ones, um, if you're soloing, I would recommend staying away from. But if you were not soloing, go for it all. So there's this cave up here that is just full of these guys up to level like 90, 95, 94, I think. I'm going to check it out real quick. Right there. 
All right, so here we are at the first Scorpion Cave. I was right, it is level 94. These guys are like all three stars, so if you're gonna look here, I recommend a partner. They're pretty hard to kill. I wouldn't come here alone. I mean, I did try to solo elixir, here, but I just couldn't really on my mage. Especially since I was a mage. If you can't like two or three hit guys when you're a mage, then you, you're probably dead. <laughs> but, um, so that's that for here. And then once you're level 94, I recommend going to this Shrouded Span um, place, the Laystone, and then start killing these guys in this first hallway and you can get up to like 103 on these guys and this sort of is like a chain I would, I would probably kill a few up there and then come back down here and you could probably by the time you're like down here you could probably kill a few in here I would just kill all these ones that's what I do and then laystone and all the guys will respawn so at this point you should be going you should be investing in level 100 Lux items. Now a lot of people don't really sell Lux items for level 100 just because they're either already sold or like people just want to keep them for their own alts. So, because typically alt, people who have alts, they level them, but they don't really level them past like 150, you know? You'll have, they'll have like alts that are like 120. 110, 100, mine's like 103 I think right now. I'm planning on getting him to end game, but not for a while. <laughs> I just got dank there, so. Um, once you're past that level 103, 104, uh, I suggest coming over to here. These guys are, you can kill these guys. If you're clearing that room and you're clearing all those first guys, um, this is what I clean, I clear this room and I clear the blue room on my mage. <coughs> And so once you're there, you're like level 108. Lots of people go and kill ghosts in other world. I don't recommend that. I recommend going to straight to killing the um, straight to killing the trees. The trees are like easier to kill. They just they take more damage. So people would kill these at like level 118, 115. Um, but you can kill the ones at the end of this that are, they're pretty easy to kill. I mean, let's see how much health they have. Okay, they have like 3,000 health. That's why I don't kill these guys. That's a one star. He's got 3,000 health. But, um, yeah, that's sort of like a lot of health for a one star. <laughs> Even like at my level, that's, that's a lot. So you could kill these guys, these ones are probably, they all have like 3,000 health, at the lowest star, so that's why I don't really suggest killing them. I honestly feel like this area over here is better. It's like easier on you, <laughs> and I feel like you just get much more out of it. So these guys are, these guys are pretty easy to kill. Like, I mean, they have like the same health, but they don't do the same amount of damage. They don't steal your energy, which is the worst. The energy steal is the worst. And they're all really close together. I mean, some of them can be like a little bit of a stretch to go get to, but most of the time you can do a circle around this place. And once you're about one, one oh, like, so once you get past all of those spiders, which will get you to like where you're only get, gonna get like one level off them, I would come to these guys. These trees are like 110 to like 115, and they take a shitload of damage when you have like fire abilities. So like a mage does really well against these guys. And see, like they don't have as much health as like the uh, other ones. I'm sorry, this is like a lot of talking for me, <laughs> but uh, and I'm only like halfway through. I'm gonna start more generalizing things, but. Once you're done with these guys, you'll be like 113-ish, and I suggest, once you're there, start killing these guys up here. The bigger trees. There is a chance. Always come over into these four little bushes over here. These, they're pretty big, actually. These four bushes. Um, this guy right here, if you always kill this guy, he has a chance to spawn as an XP mob, which will give you about half a million XP for one kill. I always go for that so don't forget to do that that always helps 
because typically if you're elixing here he'll spawn like one or two times uh, that can also happen with the bog fiends or whatever they can do the same thing so now that you're past that I'm going to suggest going straight to the bogans you're there I mean you're pretty much there actually you're not really quite there you're probably like 118 119 I would suggest going for these guys these guys are pretty easy to kill they definitely have more health but it's sort of like they can they can get you can get obsidian armor for rogues that's pretty good it is like it does decent amount of poison damage and for other classes it can add like um, ability like damage and shit like that but if you come up here and just kill these guys till you're like 125 ish oh there's a you 115.5 damn I want to go to that but I also am in the middle of a video